Hey there, listeners. Welcome to Socially Inclined, where we believe marketing should be simple, effective, and most importantly, affordable. In this episode, we'll be sharing expert tips and strategies to help you increase your visibility, engage more of your audience, and reach more clients than ever before. So if you're ready to take your online presence to the next level, keep listening because you're about to get Socially Inclined. Hey there, everybody. Welcome to the podcast. This is Jess from Socially Inclined. And today I'm going to talk about eight social media marketing mistakes that are commonly made by new and seasoned business owners that if you can train yourself to avoid them, you will have a better effect on social media. You will get more bang for your buck from your social media marketing dollar. And that is what we're all about here at Socially Inclined. So I'm not usually one to focus on mistakes personally. I love to approach things as what you should be doing rather than what you shouldn't be doing. But I do love to um, have good results, right? So, and we see a lot of a lot of small business owners just coming out with some. There's there's no shortage of advice and techniques and things out there that you can find. Um, but we have been doing social media marketing for as long as social media has existed, really. So we have a really good idea of what works and what doesn't. And these mistakes come from kind of learning the hard way, right? We work with tons of small business owners, hundreds of thousands of small business owners, and um, we see some underlying themes. So I've positioned these as mistakes, and I'm going to talk to you rather than drilling in the mistake, we're going to talk about what you can do to fix that mistake. So I have eight popular social media marketing mistakes that we want to stop making and what we should be doing instead. Because the reality is, is social media marketing is, it is really the best way, especially if you don't have a huge budget. Of course, if you can put a ton of money into advertising, then that's great. You're probably not here listening to my podcast on simple, effective, and affordable marketing strategies, but social media marketing is only going to cost you time if you are willing to get in the trenches and go at it with some really great techniques. So a great way to increase your following, a great way to reach more people without having to spend a lot of money, and you can do that more effectively by doing the right thing. So there are some common things that people do um, when they're trying to get on social media, when they're trying to make a splash. It can be hey really there listeners, welcome to Socially when Inclined, where we believe marketing should be simple, effective, and most importantly, affordable. In this episode, we'll be sharing expert tips and strategies to help you increase your visibility, engage more of your audience, and reach more clients than ever before. So if you're ready to take your online presence to the next level, keep listening because you're about to get socially inclined. All of that, I just want to encourage you that all of that is super common and all of that is overcomeable uh, with enough determination and with the right strategies. So do not worry if you've made any of the mistakes that I'm about to talk about. Don't worry because honestly, anyone who's trying is going to make a mistake. So anyone who's been trying to market their business on social media for any amount of time will have made some of these mistakes, if not all of them. It's never too late to correct your social media marketing strategy and to um, start getting things heading in the right way. So social media marketing mistake number one that we see with small business owners is not engaging with your followers. And I think this comes from a place of just not having the time and occasionally not knowing how to do it. But the problem is, is especially in today's social media, 
Facebook and Instagram, the two biggest players, Meta, has come outright and said that they don't want it to be a advertising, they don't want your profile to be an advertising platform. It is meant to be a back and forth. It is meant to be social media. So right off the bat, if you're not having the engagement that you want, if you're not getting the reach that you want, ask yourself, how many times have you engaged back? When your followers make a comment on something, um, share, or maybe they ask a question, are you right there responding? Are you right there getting in the conversation with them? If you have someone monitoring your social media, maybe you're fortunate enough to have a VA for your business or maybe even a small team, do they cultivate ongoing conversations um, and look for opportunities to build that engagement? If not, then take a step right there in going five minutes a day in the morning and five minutes a day in the evening and go engage with your followers. If you have a comment that you haven't gotten back to um, or if someone's had a question, go engage with them. When you make a post, make sure that it's not just you saying things and not listen. Make sure that you are social on social media and make sure you engage with those people, those followers who have, um, you know, started a conversation with you. That right there will help you in your social media efforts because that is what platforms these days want to see. They want to see someone who has come to play, who has come to be social, who has come to contribute to the social media community, not just come to promote their products, say some things, and not do anything in return. So make sure that you're engaging with your followers. Do not make the mistake of not engaging with them. All right, second mistake, not filling out your profile completely. So the way to fix this is to make sure that you have complete profiles. The reasoning is, is because incomplete profiles make your business look either sloppy or fake. Both are bad. Fake is obviously worse, but no one wants to be known as the sloppy business owner. So if you want to be taken seriously, make sure that you fill out your profiles completely. Include a good profile picture. Make sure your company logo or your banner, your slogan, make sure all of that branding goodness is there front and center so that when someone lands on a particular profile, it, every profile needs to be filled out completely. We call that optimizing, optimization in the marketing world. Make sure your profiles are optimized across the internet. If you have a TikTok, whether you post on it or not, at least fill out your profile completely. If you have a YouTube, make sure everything's there. And then obviously, of course, the same goes for the big ones, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, slash X. If you have a, a profile there, make sure it's filled out completely and make sure that there is a link somewhere where people who see it know where to go, know how to contact you, know how to get involved with you outside of that network. If you need specific step-by-step -step help on that, we do have a product in the Socially Inclined store. It's called Facebook Profile Fix. It is for Facebook, but a lot of the strategies and the step-by-step -step can be applied to other uh, networks as well. So head over to sociallyinclined.com and in the search bar, type Facebook fix and you'll see that product. I think it's only seven bucks. It's a great little action plan. So if you want some help with that, make sure that you um, go grab that and, and start taking action on that ASAP because filling out your profile completely will help turn leads into customers, into subscribers, and then into customers while you sleep. And that's the kind of ROI that we're after. So third mistake is not focusing on follower quality and getting too concerned with the quantity. So obviously the fix for that would be to focus on the, follow, the quality of the followers that you do have. It is such a common mistake because, I mean, even we say it sometimes, oh, we'd love more followers. 
Um, but a new business owner, yes, I just want to get to a thousand followers. I just want to get to 10,000 followers, a hundred thousand followers. When in reality, a thousand engaged, loving followers is going to do so much more for your social media presence than a million followers with only a hundred people that are really watching. So make sure you really focus on the quality over the quantity because finding followers who are potential customers is the ultimate goal. And I think we'd have rather all rather have a thousand buyers than a million lookers. <laughs> so make sure you focus on the quality of them. And that also getting in that mindset also helps you become a very nurturing content creator as well. We talk a lot about that in our marketing classes, which happen weekly inside of Socially Inclined Success Club. But you really want to get in the headspace of serving people with your content and not looking at content as just a task. Um, so getting focusing on follow, follower quality is a fantastic way to do that. Fourth mistake, not posting regular and relevant updates. So if you aren't active on social media and you're not posting things that aren't and you're not posting things that resonate with your audience, then what are you doing? <laughs> you're, I'll tell you what you're not doing. You're certainly not going to get any traction or see any momentum happening if you can't be some kind of consistent. Um, and again, you've got to listen to your audience. You have to outline who that ideal client is, who you're serving with your products and services so that you know who you're speaking to through your content. If you plan to be successful with social media marketing, which I think you're here listening to this podcast because you're trying to become successful on social media, it takes perseverance. It takes consistency and it takes a whole heck of a lot of patience. There is no such thing as a one hit wonder in the social media marketing world. So make sure that you show up with the attitude of being posting regularly and staying relevant. Uh, I'll talk about some strategies and how to do that if it just seems super overwhelming to have to show up consistently a little later. All right. Next, the fifth, the fifth mistake, not choosing your channels wisely. All right. So yes, you will, if you've ever taken a class with Julie or myself, um, or if you've ever watched one of our YouTube videos or purchased one of our trainings, you've probably heard us say that, you know, you need to look like you're everywhere. You don't have to be everywhere, but you need to look like you're everywhere. Uh, but you don't hey there listeners welcome to socially inclined social where we believe marketing should be simple effective and so most importantly affordable in this episode we'll, we'll like be sharing expert tips and strategies to help you increase your visibility engage more of your audience and reach more clients than ever before so if you're ready to take your online presence to the next level keep listening because you're about to get socially inclined kind of repurposing and redistributing content on the other channels so that you still have a presence on those channels and you can capture people from the other channels and bring them in to the platform of your choice. So for example, because everyone wants an example when we come, when we come across this topic in our teachings, um, we are, we built our business on Facebook, but we also recognize that our ideal client spends a lot of time on Instagram and Pinterest. So what we've done is we've spent some extra time optimizing those profiles. If you remember from mistake number two, whether you're relevant or whether you're active on a channel or a profile or not, you must have your profiles optimized because you've got to capture leads from those channels because you will get them. Um, people will find you maybe from not the, your primary channel or your primary profile. I keep saying channel. Um, 
maybe not from your primary social media platform of choice, but you want to be able to pull people from there that you that do discover you from those secondary uh, social media platforms. So for instance, we really focus on Pinterest and Facebook. Those are our primary. We put new content out there um, on the socially inclined profiles for Pinterest and Facebook. But we're, of course, on YouTube. We are on uh, Twitter. We're on Instagram. We're on TikTok. And we put content out on those platforms that bring people to the other platforms where they can then get to know us and they can be nurtured. So that's what we mean by choose your channel, choose your primary social media platform, the one that you want to run your business on, but make sure you have a presence on the other ones. Hopefully that makes sense. If not, if you haven't need any clarification on that, just send me an email, podcast at sociallyinclined.com. Um, let's see, six, yeah, we're sixth social media marketing mistake that you need to stop making is not automating some actions. So I put some in there very, very purposefully. You do not want to automate everything. um, But if you automate the right things, the duplicable tasks, the things that have to be done over and over and over, there are a lot of things like that. um, Maybe scheduled updates or, um, you know, a daily motivational post. We talk about that a lot in Socially Inclined's MVP strategy. Things like the motivational and the visibility posts, those should be scheduled so that you don't have to think about them and they're going automatically. That way, you're getting that content out there and you can spend your newfound time and resources on creating that promotional and presence content that's going to pull those new followers and those new subscribers into your internet sphere. (laughs) And that those P posts are also the hardest ones to make. They're also the hardest ones to outsource. So a lot of people, a lot of um, members of your social plan and socially sweet, that is the reason they're in there because we've provided the M and the V posts. So they've got this beautiful motivational content. They've got visibility, engaging questions that are going out to their platforms every single day. So all they're now responsible for is the promotional and presence posts. Make sure a little caveat to making sure you don't automate too much is making sure that you don't look robotic. Uh, There's a couple ways to make sure that doesn't happen. One is to monitor holidays. You don't want a sales post to go out on 9-11 or um, Veterans Day or Christmas. You can turn it off um, or you can pause scheduling for that day. Um, And then also making sure that the content you load, if you're not sourcing content from a marketing agency like us, You want to make sure that the content that you load is quality and um, that it's not too repetitive. So those two things can really go a long way in making sure that you don't look like you're using scheduling tools while still using scheduling tools to save you time, money, and stress (laughs) on social media. All right, so not automating some actions. So the fix for that is to automate the things that are easy to automate take advantage of that low-hanging fruit save yourself some time so that you can keep growing um, while not having to work your butt off and be completely present in that specific area of your business all right mistake number seven not interacting personally all right so this one is a little different from that first one. So engaging with your followers, that can be as your business, this can be that first one is more about business E. But number this number seven, the seventh mistake is where you're so focused on looking like maybe you're wanting to look like a bigger business than you are, um, but you want to make sure that you keep it personable. Every chance you get, it's important that you make, um, you know, like an update here or there, 
or talk about um, things that are relevant to you and your business and your goal and really add that personability into your marketing mix. Now, if you have any of our posting plans, again, if you're your social plan member, if you're a socially sweet member, we do a really great job of putting those promo prompts in there so that you don't have to ask, well, what does that look like? You just follow the prompt and you're naturally doing this and you're naturally engaging in social selling. You're sharing pieces of your story and you're really connecting with your audience on a deeper level. If you aren't using any of those tools, just make sure that once a week, a couple times a week, you share a little bit about what you are doing as a person in your business. It doesn't have to be like share something real personal or share pictures of your kids or anything like that, but it may be like, hey, I'm, you know, maybe you just started following me, but I'm Rhonda and I started my um, home Southern cooking restaurant with 50 bucks in the bank and, you know, give them like a little quick storytelling of where, where you started and where you got to. Or um, sharing that personability would also be like something that happened this week. Maybe you went from um, 900 followers to 1,000 followers. And you share that and talk about what that means to you. Not just a, a black and white, yay, we hit 1,000 followers, but really give it that personal touch. Finally, <laughs> the eighth mistake is sending out mass messages, like not personalizing your message for the channel. And sometimes this can happen if you're using scheduling software or automation. But if you're using the right kind of software and automation, you can easily edit what each message is going to say per platform. But so often as small business owners, we are so strapped for time that we craft a good message for Facebook, let's say. We hit post on there and then we copy and paste and we put it over on Pinterest only to find out that Pinterest only allows 500 characters. So we just cut it off somewhere without giving really any thought to it. And then you post the same message on LinkedIn um, and, and things like that. That's a big mistake um, because most of the time you will have leads in more places than one. And it can really feel like spam when things aren't cared for a little more delicately. The good news is, is that this can actually be done in just a few minutes, just the extra few minutes to take a look, to think about the platform. Obviously your tone should be very different on LinkedIn because the audience is very different from Facebook. So just taking a step back and, and giving yourself a chance to personalize a message per channel can really help um, with the way that message is received on a particular channel. So those are my eight mistakes for you guys. Make sure you engage with your followers. Make sure those profiles are optimized. Focus on follower quality over quantity. Make sure you post regularly. Make sure you pick the right channels. Automate what you can. Be personable. And make sure that you personalize those messages per channel. You do that. In marketing your business on social media, you will get a much better effect. You'll get a much higher ROI. Uh, you'll find more customers. You'll make more sales and ultimately increase that bottom line just by avoiding these mistakes. So take it one at a time and make these improvements as you need to. Maybe you take the next month and you work on... Um, you know, maybe one or two mistakes and weeding those out. Am I making it? If I am, how do I stop making it? Listen to this podcast a couple times if you need. Send me a message, podcast at sociallyinclined.com and we can talk about those things. I love getting um, listener feedback. But take it one at a time and make these little improvements to get back on the right track and you will see social media marketing become so much more profitable for your business. So, 
Again, I'm Jess from Socially Inclined. I hope you love this podcast. If you did, please share it with your small business owning friends or anybody who likes effective, affordable social media marketing solutions. Make sure you hit that follow or subscribe button. And I look forward to having you on the next episode. Thank you.